Good afternoon and uh, thank you all for taking uh, time to be here with us. We are happy to welcome you to our um, briefing on accelerating progress to combat TB to innovation and partnership. The TB Roundtable and the TB Coalition, in partnership with the Global Health Council and several other organizations, hosted a panel on the successes and challenges of preventing, diagnosing, and treating tuberculosis. TB is a contagious airborne disease that is the second leading cause of infectious disease deaths in adults around the world. Today I've come to share the experience of Swaziland. The Kingdom of Swaziland has declared TB as an emergency on the 24th during the World TB Day. For declaring TB as a country, we have been monitoring the situation. If you look from 1990 up to today, there's been an increase in new cases. As I speak today, currently 1,257 cases are diagnosed per 100,000. This is a worst scenario. So we have seen as a country that TB is not only a killer disease, but is also a threat to human development. Really, I think the whole TB is one of the highest killers in Lesotho. TB is, um, is really the number one killer amongst people living with HIV and AIDS. But it's not all doom and gloom. We are doing all we can really with our partners to make sure that we bring this horrible statistics down. As a tuberculosis survivor, uh, I'm living proof that TB is preventable, treatable and curable. However, every year, 250,000 children die around the world, unnecessary deaths from a preventable disease. That's why more must be done to ensure we have new and effective tools to control and ultimately eliminate TB. Key to combating TB are the partnerships formed by the various organizations involved in the fight. One of the panel's co-hosts was Cepheid, which has a new tool called Gen Expert to rapidly diagnose TB. Dave Pershing of Cepheid was on hand to discuss this breakthrough. Having rapid diagnostic options that are this informative was really only a dream about 20 years ago, but now it's a reality with this technology. In the initial development of this project and discussions with FIND, we negotiated a price of the uh, cartridge that would be based on our cost. As our volumes increase and the costs of production get lower, then the costs come down. And that's uh, something that uh, we're, we're willing to pass on to the, uh, the countries that are on the high burden developing country list. And uh, this uh, technology is having a big impact already and it's uh, bound to have an even bigger impact as the technology gets implemented over the next several years. It is the hope of the panel that through the new testing methods and better access to testing, there will be greater successes in preventing, diagnosing, and treating TB around the world. So we are saying, let us all be committed. Let us come together and fight the war. It is possible to eliminate TB. We can conquer TB as long as we all partner.